Okay, everybody, finally the final part of this week's Observer. Number 5.3, we will cover all the tournaments uh, that we have witnessed throughout the final two of the latest two weeks. <clears throat> we have a new Chinese letter contest uh, by the Net Netties letter. We have the Twitch Warcraft Champions League from Korea. We have the Holds Cup in Korea. And, of course, we have um, the weekly tournaments throughout the world. So the new NetEase um, gaming client is out. It's basically like War 3 Arena but from a Blizzard partner in China. Um, so of course for Europeans and Americans the ping is horrible. Um, but yeah, they created a ladder contest. Um, this has actually a few cool features like an observer mode like WAG TV. You can chat in between and you see like the infos we have on our scoreboard and stuff. Uh, so yeah, they're making a, meta, a letter client, um, huge prize money here, over 10,000 euros plus offline finals. Uh, you can letter now and the end is December 31st. So until the end of the year, then the top 8 players will be invited to the grand final. And uh, yeah, 5,800 euros for the winner, 2,900 for the runner-up, uh, bronze medalist gets 1,450 euros and the ranks 4 to 8 get 725 so it's actually one of the biggest tournaments this year or will be the biggest tournament um, in early 2016 <clears throat> I saw the letter ranks I saw Infi very high Foggy is doing good email fan has a crazy uh, win-loss ratio but yeah, it's more than six weeks um, until the end so a lot of stuff can change but interesting that Infi is lettering so much, uh, so he's getting in shape for WCA. Walk uh, Twitch Warcraft Champions League is a new tournament from uh, Korea, or in Korea, sponsored by Twitch. Um, the winner gets 1,200 euros, uh, 560 for the runner-up, 400 and 240 for rank 3 and 4. Um, basically, there were a group stage, or like a bubble system. So, um, you have you had to advance from a group of four into the playoffs. And I think we had like eight groups or something. So the Korean elite is meeting up again in a double elimination format. We saw Focus beating Bainey, we saw Belief beating K, we saw Lucifer beating So In and Law Light beating Check. That gives us the following semifinals. Focus versus Belief, they will play in four days. When is that? Monday, I guess, and uh, Lucifer playing Law Light. So that's gonna be interesting. Um, plus the first loser bracket rounds, Bainey versus K and Soin versus Czech. The semifinals are really stacked already. I'm very much looking forward to it. Maybe we can get a hold of the replays. Um, let's see. Maybe Twitch is doing a European invitation as well, but I won't uh, get my hopes too high on that. So the Holds Cup is continuing. We saw the game for third between Czech and Belief, and Czech Surprisingly, to me at least, uh, won the thing, won 375 euros. The final will happen tomorrow, Friday, November 13th, between Law Light and Minyuk. You can follow that on the stream of Indra. It's linked at readmore and uh, w3arena.net. So the Koreans... I don't, that's crazy, man. They always play our cups. Um, and it seemed like they don't have... A scene of their own and out of a sudden there are two tournaments with a thousand euro prize money it's crazy it's absolutely crazy so weekly tournaments um, these are a little outdated I'm sorry uh, but yeah we have to cover two weeks here so let's get this uh, quick done. Golden Cup number 10, Foggy won it against Orc Worker, uh, Yoss in the semi-final and Imperius in the semi-final interesting very interesting I think Cup number 79 was once again won by Sushishi in the grand final against Colorful. Uh, we casted that apparently a replay cast on our YouTube as well. Sushishi Sushi winning three I think Cups back to back. Um, the Indra Cup, a new series from Korea, the 11th episode here. Reprisal beating Lucifer in the final 3 to 2. Um, interesting names here Luxury and Sense in the semi final. Sense beating Focus. Luxury beating Bainey, definitely interesting. Uh, 55 euros here for Reprisal. Also noticeable that Reprisal usually doesn't play these small cups. 
um, once again a sign of how everybody gets in shape and then to tournament mode at the moment. Ruka Cup is another tournament from Korea. This, these were supposed to happen every Saturday. Now the Indra Cup is every Saturday and the Ruka Cup happens on Sundays. I'm not so sure if this will continue though. Uh, number four was won by Lucifer against Belief in an undead mirror final. Belief beating Reprisal 2 to 0. Um, maybe he was just playing shenanigans. Or he's not that good against undead. We'll see. Uh, yeah, but an undead mirror final, man, that would be so cool in Europe, but we will never, ever see that. Jera Cup number 35 was won by Rudin. And that cup was so absolutely insane. Um, make sure to watch the semi-final and the grand final on our YouTube. Especially Foggy vs Sonic, man. These two know exactly how to play Night Elf Mirror. Oh, by the way, this, the semi-finals only Night Elves here in the Jera Cup. Um, but if you think that Night Elf Mirror is boring, go watch the VODs. The final is great, the semi-final is great. Uh, especially Foggy and Sonic in their mirrors, man. They are so creative. They playing basically everything that Night Elf can offer. Golden Cup 11, Watch If Rich is back, beating Sonic and Foggy. Of course, he's still very, very good in the Night Elf mirror. Um, zero map losses here in the quarter, semi, and grand final. Knight in the quarter final, interesting, and AJK is getting a little better. Orc Worker once again in a semi final. Yeah. I think Cup number 80, the streak of Sushi Shi is over. Colorful won that tournament in uh, the grand final against TBCBM, who beat Foggy in the quarterfinals, and that is actually a big deal. I think he's the first player who actually plays from Europe who reached uh, the playoffs or day two of the IFAN Cup, uh, because that's a cup who starts Friday and then uh, is continued at Saturday. So yeah, Foggy doing good at the Chinese ladder, colorful, um, winning. One of his first big, big tournaments. Um, that's very cool to see new guys here at the scene. The Indra Cup number 12 was won by Focus, who beat Believe and uh, Ganek before. His opponent was Email Fan, um, who's, as I mentioned before, very good in the Natties ladder, but not strong enough for Focus. And he won Jera Cup as well. 3 to 0 in the grand final against Foggy. He just bulldozed him there. Also Rudin, no chance, uh, only Hawk was able to take a map from Focus, but that little Korean orc, he is getting crazy strong. Yeah, I think these are the noticeable uh, results here from the current scene. Rudin is back, uh, he focused on basketball, so he did not play the WCA open qualifier and yeah, so I thought he would retire, but no, for the Sunday Cups he is still in uh, the race for the 85 euros here uh, at Jaraka. So the upcoming tournaments you can find at war3calendar.com. Of course, this weekend we will have a uh, replay cast. I don't know what we'll cover, just finals of the weekly caps maybe, um, to see what the Koreans are doing, to see what the Chinese are doing, to see what our European people are doing. Then we have on Saturday, uh, the Golden Cup, we will cast that on uh, Sunday, we will cast Jera Cup, so an entire weekend of Warcraft action here at Back to Warcraft. And uh, yeah, you can find all the important dates over at war3calendar.com, including info links and stream links. That's it for the Warcraft Observer number 5. You can support us and keep this machine going via PayPal, back to Warcraft at gmail.com. You can subscribe via Twitch. Uh, twitch.tv slash products slash back to warcraft you can buy our stuff at amazon so if you like uh, if you want to buy a new cpu or whatever or a cd or a dvd um, go to amazon via our referral link just shop as you usually would do and we get five percent of your purchase um, you can do the same at g2a if you want to play let's say fallout 4 um, or the new starcraft Join G2A slash R slash Back to Warcraft, buy the games, we get a certain percentage off of that. Or you can support us by buying our merchandise, b2wshop.com uh, for North America, b2wshop.de for Germany and Europe. Okay, as I mentioned, that's it. Observer number five, <laughs> split into three parts. 
it was a long, long, long issue here. Um, but of course, we had to catch up from last week, and we had tons of news to talk about. Uh, Warcraft scene, very much like. I hope you still uh, like this format brought to you by me, by Neo, by Back to Warcraft. I hope to see you in the, in the Twitch chats this weekend. Um, three days, three casts. Warcraft 3 is just awesome. See you, everybody.